<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog show African Girl Answers. I'm actually at a barbecue and this is the one place for all African girls under 35 and yes, that includes those of you who have been reading the same damn book for the last summer. Yeah, the same book. My name is Sandra Fondufe, your host. The H is silent like the H when a Yoruba man says, how are you? The silent H? You know that H. Well, I'll be right back with you guys. First of all, I need to go eat some chicken. African girl answers. Super. Welcome back, guys. Obviously, I'm on a barbecue, so forgive my crazy friends and all the noise you hear in the background. But first of all, I like... I love the smell of new books and so I'm going to be reviewing this book which is called uh, Creating a Successful Business from Scratch Naturally and this book is by Miko Branch with Tita Branch and before I go into my review I want to tell you exactly who these girls are and a little bit more about what they've done Oh I just got a beer oh, Thank you, thank you Isn't this the best thing ever you can Run your own business, say whatever the hell you like, and then get a beer. I love it. So, uh, the book talks about the relationship between the sisters and how Miko and Titi were able to learn from their grandmother, who was called Miss Jessie. She, uh, when they were little kids, they got a chance to live with her for a little bit, and they learned some things from her. So pretty much what she did was she had all these trends, and one of them was the fact that she was an amazing cook. And when she cooked, she had this consistency that she cooked with. Every pudding was so well done. The quality was tight. The food itself was delicious. And these ladies chose to adopt the same model when they ran and opened their business called Miss Jessie's. Now, Miss Jessie's has over a bunch of products, okay? I brought some, some samples here today. They have the coily custard, living con dish, multicultural curls, super sweet back treatment, uh, pillow soft curls, Creme de la creme. These names are rather trying. I will tell you that. And you know what their slogan is? The best darn curl creme ever. Something like that. How vain. I thought I was vain, but that is so vain. And I completely love it. It's all about marketing. So ladies, I want to tell you more about this. But I need to tell you what I loved about the book. Now, um, let's see. It's a hardcover book, as you would expect. I think it retails for 25 bucks in the US and 31 in uh, Canada. Sorry, guys. Um, and it's about, let's see, 294 pages, I would think. Let's see. Yeah, about that. And I wasn't paid for this, so I'm just telling you my honest feeling. I got this book through the Oracle group to review it, and I'm just being 100% honest about how I feel. I got two versions. At first, I got this one, and I, I personally prefer this because it's like, I like to write. I write a lot, and when I have a book, I write everywhere. Let me show you what I did with this. I was so inspired that I wrote notes everywhere. I started coming up with a new business model. So you have to understand. But with a hardcover book, you can do too much. And of course, the prose is great, the narrative is awesome. When you have HarperCollins publishing your book, of course they're gonna do all this stuff. So I'm not really gonna go into the structure and all that bookworm stuff. I'm more concerned about what you can take from it. And I mean, we've all seen books like that. We've all seen books where a celebrity is famous, they have fans, they know I'm gonna go ahead and write this book and make money, and it's gonna be full of shit. Like, the, no lesson to be learned, it's just a stupid book. Hi, Nicole Richie. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you out like that, but your book sucked. But I, I completely love this book. It's, it's, it's such a genuine voice. Like, I could tell. <laughs> You have two ladies that were born in a family just like yours and mine. And they, you know, they were inspired by their grandmother. How many of us can say that we get to actually watch our elders and learn from it? Like they watched their grandmother, she was so inspirational, and then they learned from it. And this book, in every single part, has little quotes at the side where they write these inspirational messages. And I will read to you my favorite quotes. This is one of them. Uh, it says, the first one is on page 14, and it says, Incorporate your unique life story into your business dreams. I think that is so amazing. Guys, like, I, I want to write this quote that said that you can be anybody else because everyone else is taken. You can just be yourself. I think when you run a business, it's a, it's a good idea to incorporate your life story into it. For instance, the ladies, Miko and Titi, they named the company Miss Jessie's after their grandmother. And the company follows the ethics that the grandmother had. So it makes sense. Like you care about it more because it's someone they cared about. 
they added their life story into it. I think it's better than just some random name. So that's something I really love. Another quote that I completely, completely died for was this one. It says, uh, identify a need for a product and find a way to create it. So Mika will talk about how, you know, before her company made products to straighten the hair. Like they made all these products for the type of hair. And then she had a son. She would straighten her hair out and then she had to take her son a shower. And then guess what? With all the splashing and everything, her hair got messed up. So she figured out, wait, what happens to women that have hair like mine and have kids? And they have to, um, to take their sun showers, you know, what do they do? And so she figured out how to find that niche market and create it. So I think that was such a beautiful quote. And I think um, as business people, we should try to see a problem and then see how we can solve it. Another thing I loved about it was this paragraph that they spoke about their grandmother. It says, our grandmother never stinted on quality. And for those of you who don't know what stinted means, it means she never really degraded, like she didn't joke about the quality for her, it was important. Um, although she was never a fool in price. So our grandmother never stinted on quality, on, although she was never a fool in price. We took that same approach when we sourced our materials for business. She was also a stickler for presentation. A stickler means that she, like, she, she pretty much made sure the presentation was on fleek. And whatever came out from her kitchen had to look, smell, and taste heavenly. I love that. Why? Because these ladies took the same approach in their product. Have you ever smelled one of these products? They smell like a bunch of lilies in one place. They smell amazing. And so the customer comes to associate the business with that pleasant smell. And I think as a young entrepreneur, we should always, you know, make our business perfect. It can never be really perfect, technically speaking, but at least you can strive for perfection. And I'm not saying that what you do has to turn out perfect. I'm saying that the audience should be able to tell that you were trying to be perfect. So I completely love that. And, um, you know, if you didn't already get that from everything I said, something else I love about a book like this, you have to understand, this is not a, um, it's not a fiction. It's pretty much a business guide and a memoir. So I'm talking more about what I got from it. A big lesson that Miko really talks about in this book was learning from your mistakes. Uh, I think that's a valuable lesson that we always underlook and underrate. I think any business person should be able to learn from their mistakes. Like she talks about how much she grew, how much they both grew as individuals and as business women from what they had experienced and now they were able to kind of move on from it. Something else that she said which I loved, giving a chance to someone new. Not because they're your friend, but because you see potential, you see they can go somewhere. And she completely speaks about this. And my other favorite part, which was very sad, if you didn't already know, Miko Branch lost her sister Titi, who has been, you know, her business partner, her partner in crime, her friend, her entire life. She lost her last year in December, and she has a last chapter, a little letter that she writes to her, and I, I, I almost cried. After reading the whole book and seeing this relationship and what they went through, like the problems they faced legally, their friendship, and how much Titi taught her, uh, how much Titi taught her, I felt bad and I, I really encourage her and applaud her for being honest enough to write that letter. I mean, I lost my grandfather and my brother two years ago. I know what it's like to lose a person. And to really be able to be open about that and really share that feeling with us, it was something I completely loved. And I can't tell you everything about the book because of course you have to go to Amazon and buy it. The book came out yesterday, so you totally have to buy it. It's not that expensive. Here's the thing. We should invest in things that will make us grow as young women. I think this book is one of those things. I'm saying that because like cosmically, the time when I read this book, I was going through a whole bunch of stuff in my personal life. And I was really able to get what I needed from it, which was encouragement to continue on my journey. So without much ado guys, at the bottom of this video, I am going to give you guys the ISBN number, the information, the link to go on Amazon and find it. And I want to say that one of you is going to walk away with a giveaway of life. You're going to be able to get a signed copy of the book, which is amazing, and all sorts of products from Miss Jessie's. I'm just so, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I am so, I'm so happy to be part of this tour, and I really want you to enjoy the products. Please go ahead and make a review. Tell me how you thought about it. And so, I know that you want to see if these products really work. So I have a friend of mine, she's a skeptic. She does not believe in products like this. We are going to go find her and test one of these products in her and let's see if it really works.
Without much ado, I am your host, Sandra Fondufe. The H is silent. You can find me across the board on social media. It's Sandra Fondufe with an H on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I love you guys, and thank you so, so much for coming back every week to check out what I do. Give me feedback. Leave your comments in the bottom of the video. Tell me if you want to hear more, if you want to hear less. Tell me what other topics you want to hear about. I am so grateful, and I love you guys. I completely love you guys, because I know how many videos there are that you could be watching every week. Wednesday, but you keep coming back to mine, and I am so grateful. I love you guys. Bye. Oh, oh. I don't usually drink, but when I drink, I drink. Don't eat again. Oh my God, guys! Wait one second. I just tell you one thing. Can I just say that Miss Jessie's products have been like featured everywhere? I'm talking all magazines, all car magazine, um, Essence, L, like everywhere. And some of your favorite celebrities use that product. Guess who used it? Olivia Pope. What's her real name? Kerry Washington. Sorry, sorry, Kerry. I, 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 mean, I love you. Kerry Washington, Rihanna, like everyone uses the product. Then, so to my African girls, the last thing I'm gonna say before I leave is this: you are literally using the same sort of that. No, wait. I said again. You are literally using the same cream that Olivia Pope is using. Super.